All right, so Karima on Instagram says, oh, and I have another question. Is it okay to go on hikes alone? I will be traveling alone, and if I don't make friends along the way, I don't want that to stop me from hiking. Is it easy to get there with buses? Thanks. All right. Yes, totally. You are absolutely um, safe going on hikes in New Zealand alone. Um, you will be actually shocked at how well signposted most of the hikes in the country are. I mean, obviously there are some bush tracks and some bush walks and everything, but they, you know, it's not going to be the, the the thing that you're going to be doing. Um, most of the hikes that tourists do are actually super well signposted. There is no way to get lost, and there is actually quite a lot of people actually going on hikes. So you're never really alone. There is always going to be someone passing every 30 minutes somewhere. So if something happens, someone will find you. Yeah. Um, Plus, on top of that, I don't think you're going to be alone. Yeah, exactly. So there are a lot of solo travelers in New Zealand. And if you're staying in accommodations such as hostels, then you definitely will meet people while you're traveling around. Like the hostel kitchen alone is a very sociable place. Um, you can definitely like while you're, you know, making your meals and stuff, conversations with people around you and say, hey, I'm doing I'm doing a hike here tomorrow. Do you want to come and join and stuff? And that's a, that's a pretty common thing in New Zealand. And definitely, we both arrived in New Zealand as solo travelers ourselves. And um, uh, especially for me, I sort of did a little bit of both. There were some days where I was hiking alone, but other days I did um, find people that also wanted to come and join me for hikes and things. So yeah, um, definitely very easy to find people to hike around with and also definitely safe to do it by yourself. Um, yeah, like Robin said, the the trails are very well signposted, usually really well like graveled. You really can't go wrong um, with the um, popular walks around New Zealand. Um, but yeah, if you are thinking of like, you know, maybe wanting to reach out and get some more people to hike with, there's definitely loads of different ways that you can be doing that. And we do have an article on backpackerguide.nz, which is like the 10 ways to meet people while in New Zealand. Um, one of the things that springs to mind is there's a lot of backpacking Facebook groups where you can actually ask if people are available, like, say uh, you're going to Wellington or Topo, say, hey, I'm in Wellington at the moment. Does anyone fancy doing the Mount Victoria hike with me? And yeah, usually people sort of, um, yeah, keep in touch that way and find yeah, and, travel buddies. And, and also if you don't have a car, at that point you find some travel buddies that have a car and they can drive you to the hike as well, which <laughs> yeah. is, you know, it's just so perfect. We you just have to pitch in a little bit for gas or bring some lollies, uh, that that's candy, um, yeah. sweets, stuff yeah. like that. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the way. Uh, that's one of the way to get to the hike. Now, a lot of places have very accessible walks, either from public transport or just little walking distance from the city centres. Because you know, city, um, city in New Zealand is kind of, you know, it's it's a wide word. Some of them are just little towns. Yeah. But um, there are actually a lot of ways to get to hikes. Not you're not going to be without a car. You're not going to be able to access every single walk in the country, right? But um, public transports are really good. Like, for example, I remember um, one time we actually had our own camper van um, when doing New Zealand's Biggest Gap here. And uh, we were around Dunedin and we decided to take the bus to go to a Tunnel Beach hike, if yeah. I remember. And it was very easy to go with public transport and literally the stop was in between two fields. <laughs> I, I, I just find it completely crazy that the, that the city bus, which cost us like $3.20 or something like super cheap, dropped us in between two fields at the beginning of the hike and that was just all sorted. Yeah. So there's many places that you can go to um, um, just using public transport. And some popular places like Rotorua, for example, they have tourist shuttle, which are able to take you to those places very easy as well. So it, it's, yeah, you're not going to have access to every single one of the whole walks, that's for sure, but you're going to have access to such a massive selection. There is no way, um, because we know you're traveling here for a month, there is no way you're going to run out of hikes to do in one month in New Zealand. You'll yeah. be able to do most of the things you want. And um, you'll find plenty of friends along the way, both hostels, online, as we mentioned. You can even find friends literally when taking that public transport to go to that hike. You know, there's a bunch of people that are probably going to get off at the same 
bus stop than you are and then start walking to start chatting to people yeah so um so yeah being alone traveling in new zealand is never a solo experience laura has an laura has an amazing videos um that she done about solo female travel in new zealand you should definitely check it out and we link to it in the description below and you um you know everything you need to know about that <laughs> Yeah. Is there anything else to add about that or are we good to go? Well, if you do need any inspiration for walks to do in New Zealand, we do have a crazy amount of articles on backpackerguide.nz. If you just look in our hiking section, you can check out all the different hikes there are to do in various places around New Zealand. And yeah, it has all the information of how long the walks are, how difficult it is, how much you'll see along the way, for instance, and where they are and if they're yeah. accessible from within the town or not. So yeah, if you need any inspiration, Inspiration, make sure to check out backpackerguide.nz. In the meantime, like and subscribe, and I'm going back to the live chat.